What is up, MFers? I hope you're having a lovely day today. I got a great video for you guys doing my monthly little MTB Pro Box unboxing. So you guys know the drill. I'm out at this beautiful little lake right here, something similar to what a lot of you are seeing this time of year in the fall and around your area. So I'm gonna unbox the Mystery Tackle Box products, show you what came in my box this month in October, and then I'm gonna tie them on, get out on the lake, and show you guys how I fish these during this time of the season and throughout the entire year to catch more bass. So before we get started with the MTB Pro Box October unboxing, I got two pieces of exciting information for you guys. The first one is, I'm going to be giving this away at the end of the video, so stay tuned to the end of the video. See how you can enter the contest to win one of these guys right here. Second exciting piece of information. This weekend, this upcoming Saturday, Mystery Tackle Box is holding another tournament. It's a fall tournament for all the dudes that are part of the Mystery Tackle Box team, and your boy is going to be there. So I'm super pumped for that one. It's at a, a little lake by Dallas. I, I'm super stoked to get out and meet some new dudes hopefully do some fishing with some of the other Guggen Squad guys besides Flair. Super, super stoked to get down there. Anyways, let's get to unboxing this, show you guys some of these baits, take them out and go fish with them. All right, get this little dude right here opened up. And I do apologize for any background noise. Apparently I'm buying interstate and uh, trains and stuff or something. But as always with the mystery tackle box, they come with the what's inside card. Has a list of all the products along with their MSRP. Also lets you know if it is an exclusive mystery tackle box product. So let's get started. First one is the suspending vibration from IMA. Now, like I told you guys, I think in the last video, I've been making a bunch of videos for mystery tackle box. If you haven't had a chance to go watch some of those on their channel, this happens to be one right here that I've, I've made a video about and fish and spend some time with. So this is a really cool lipless crankbait and it suspends actually, which is an awesome feature. A lot of dudes have been doing everything they can to make their lipless bait suspend ever since they got rid of the old rattle trap suspending bait. Um, and for good reason, this guy, once you rip it free of the grass, it can suspend right there over the top of it. Awesome little bait right here. Says the MSRP for that guy is $9.99. So $10 bait to start her off. Second bait, bait number two, got the old 2.5 crankbait from Lucky Craft. So you know Lucky Craft. They have really expensive, high dollar, um, high quality crankbaits. And they give you a nice little craw color out of the box. And it's a more expensive bait. This is the silent version. It's a uh, $12.99 bait. So already we got a $10 bait and a $13 bait out of the package. Super happy with what we got so far from Mystery Tackle Box. Next one is the Cane Thumper from Big Bite Baits. So a lot of guys have uh, probably seen this bait used a little bit. This is the uh, three and a half inch model in a pearl color. Pearl's excellent because it's fall. It's uh, We're trying to mimic these young of the year shad. The three and a half size is a little bit smaller than that big five inch size they have as well. So I'm gonna get this dude rigged up. It's definitely going to be a good bait today in this a little bit cleaner, kind of stained water. Um, should be a good bait to throw today. Next bait on the old list is the Razor Worm from Ketchco. So Ketchco, again, Mystery Tackle Box's brand. This is the Razor Worm. It's a lot like the Yamamoto Cut Tail Worm. It's got that nice straight shape, kind of like a Senko, but it has this little cut tail on the end. Now, Cut Tail Worm ha has been an awesome worm on a shaky head for me uh, and on a Nico rig. It's got a ton of fish around the country. The, the cut tail worm from Yamamoto has been a huge, huge player at Kentucky Lake and these ledge lakes offshore fishing it on a Nico rig. Uh, this one looks like it's a really good high quality. The color on this guy doesn't say what color it is. It's like a watermelon red with some blue and orange in it too. So kind of a different color here, but definitely a good natural color. Next up are some lead nail weights also from Ketchco. So, Lead nail weights from Mystery Tackle Box. That's going to allow me to stick these inside the head of this little cut tail worm right here, fishing on a Nico worm. And we might as well go ahead and show you guys these as well. Some Katana Nico hooks. So we got everything we need to go out and fish this Nico rig and their number two. That's my favorite size for fishing this type of rig. Uh, Nico rigs become one of my favorite finesse style rigs. You see me throw that flick shake a lot. It's, it's a really good, vertical bait. While you do get bites on the fall with a Nico rig, just like a, a flick shake, about half your bites are going to come as you horizontally work that bait along the bottom, whatever you're fishing. And as we get out on the water, I'm gonna tell you guys the benefits of throwing a Nico rig over some of the other finesse style presentations. 
Next bait is the Flash Bang from Catchco. So once again, a 399 bait here. This is your typical weighted lead swim bait jig hook. Comes with a little screw lock and a centering pin on there. But what really sets this dude apart right here uh, and why it's called the Flash Bang is it comes with that little willow leaf underneath. You know, owner makes one of these, now Mystery Tackle Box. Uh, Ketchco has their own. And also it's a tungsten weight on here. So this is a really high quality hook right here. And it's going to go perfect rigged up with the old little cane thumper. You know, that, that matches it up perfect in size. So it's gonna be a nice little swim bait profile with a little bit more flash and you can rig it Texas rig. So we're gonna be able to fish it through some of these trees, some of this grass through here. And that's a way a lot of guys have been catching a lot of fish, including myself the last couple years with the swim bait on the, uh, the flashy swimmer type swim bait hook. Last but not least on our list, the net bait baby pack of crawl. You guys have seen me fish these a whole lot. This is the pack of craw, and this is a color that I actually wouldn't pick up. That's the beauty about Mystery Tackle Box. You get a lot of baits that you get to go try out that you probably wouldn't have ever picked up off the shelf. Some of them you haven't even seen before. I haven't seen half these baits before because they're exclusive to Mystery Tackle Box. This is one I have used a lot of, but in green pumpkin and black blue flake. This is like a chartreuse pearl blue glimmer color. Going to be an absolutely perfect color on the back of a swim jig, that six cent swim jig. I'll get rigged up here in just a second. I also have one other sneaky little way you can throw this bait that I'll show you out on the water. All right, boom, that's it for my box for October. I'm super stoked about these. I got a lot of good baits, a lot of high quality baits in this package. So I'm gonna get out on the water and show you guys how I rig them up, how I fish them. Now, semis, unbelievable. Now before I go out there on the water, start fishing these baits, I wanna tell you guys one more thing, and that is if you wanna try out these mystery tackle boxes, a lot of guys think you need to go out and buy a whole year subscription or something. That's not true at all. You can go buy one box just to try it out if you want, and it's an awesome present for experienced fishermen like myself, but it's also great for kids. It's like, a, it's like Christmas every single month, not just once a year. You get one of these guys every month, you have no idea what's inside the box, and then you get to go on their channel and my channel and go check out how to fish some of these really great baits. Um, but if you wanna go try it out, use the promo code MILK, M-I-L-K, for me, and that saves you $10 off your first box. So it's a $5 box if you wanna go try this and you get like $35, $40 for the tackle. Let's get on the water, I'm starting to get a little twitchy. Need to make some casts. All right, I'm gonna start off with this little Ima suspending lipless bait. Never used this bait be uh, before I started making those videos for Mystery Tackle Box. Cool thing about this bait, like I said, it suspends. You know, I noticed there's some grass here along this bank when I launched the boat. So I'm gonna throw this guy out there. And uh, the most important thing with the lipless bait, just like any other crankbait for that matter, is you really gotta make contact with whatever cover you're fishing around and you're gonna rip it out whether that be grass, which is my favorite way to fish this, or a stump, whatever it may be, you gotta make contact and rip it out. This thing's gonna rip right out of that stuff and sit right there in their face. That's why it's pretty sick that it's a uh, suspending bait. But as I fish around this little lake right here, anytime I come up to a flatter area, I know this is a steeper lake, flatter area, it's gonna have some grass on it. It's gonna be a perfect time to throw this out, get it bogged up in that grass and rip it out, try to get that reaction strike. Lipless bait, definitely a bait that shines for me two different seasons. We got the pre-spawn period when the water gets up a little bit warmer till they get off that jerk bait or if the water is a little more muddy, this stands out a lot more than a jerk bait. That's a definite, probably my favorite time to throw this to get a reaction strike. But the, uh, the second time I like to throw it is what's happening right now. When those shads start to migrate into the back of creeks, especially the really, really shallow flat creeks. I'm talking six inches to a foot deep on the sides. Uh, maybe even two or three feet deep at most. And then in the channel that runs through that, that snakes through is maybe only five, six to eight feet deep. The bass will follow that channel back into those creeks. And on days where it's, it's lower light conditions or they're, they're really, really active and feeding, they'll push the shad up onto the flatter areas and a lipless bait is a great way to cover water and find those active fish. Now, lipless bait definitely is not probably going to be the best bait of choice for a lake like this where it drops off super steep. There is grass up there on some of these flatter areas, 
but it drops off so steep. This is a bait you wanna move horizontally over that grass and along a grass line and rip it out. This is not the best scenario to throw this bait, this lake I came to today, but the lake I came to today might be really, really good for the rest of the baits. And I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. I'm gonna pull out this uh, Nico rig right here. You can see there's a definite point right here. And a Nico rig is a great offshore bait. Anytime you got five plus feet of water, you can throw this thing on just about anything. Points, uh, road beds, rock piles. I'll go back and throw it on the boat ramp here in a little bit when we go to leave, but uh, it'll be a great time to throw that any type of offshore structure and the, the beauty of this bait is it fishes like a shaky head along the bottom so you're pulling it along like this but it kind of has that that limp um, wacky rig motion and i like to rig it with the hook facing vertically because most of your bites um, almost all your bites are going to happen from the top so you want that hook point facing up like that and hook it just into the egg sack of the worm you don't want it in the middle of the worm um, it just doesn't have the right action to me i like to get a nice solid amount in there you can even throw an o-ring on there and hook it around that i personally don't like to do that this is a finesse technique i don't like to add too much hardware to it and then of course you slip that little nail rig in there and one thing you can do to keep it from coming out if you catch a fish or get snagged you can super glue it in there just a little dab of super glue push it up in there so uh, that's a really really good way to throw this bait and like i was saying it's different from a shaky head in that it has that same action pulling across the bottom with the head down of the shaky head but the head doesn't get stuck down into rock so it's really really effective around rock cover and around anything where the bottom's real mucky and thick because that head doesn't come back with a bunch of grass or get snagged in the rocks the hook stays up above that you know it's not the best for timber because you do have that exposed hook you can add a little keeper on there a little weedless hook which i'll probably have to show you guys um, a different video but uh, for now i'm gonna throw this guy out some of these deeper points stuff like that some of these deeper points maybe we'll find a road bed or something on this lake i'm not super familiar with it but that's how i throw the nico rig Let's see if we can catch them on it i really like to throw the nico rig on spinning tackle this is a seven foot i think it's a medium medium light fish is a little bit in between those two but uh, it's perfect for this it has a nice slow taper fast tip on it so you can really get that hook point in there and then let the rod really load up as you set the hook on these fish. But when I'm fishing this Nico rig, all I do is make as long a cast as possible, let it get all the way down. This is a slow sink. The, the weights that Mystery Tackle Box put in there are really, really light, which is a good thing for this finesse technique. You want it to get down to the bottom and then you just kind of want to work like a wacky rig or any other type of, of bait you work down real slow. You don't want to give it too much action. Just a, a couple simple, maybe like two or three twitches up let it fall back to the bottom and just kind of slowly work it along the bottom and less is really more with this technique this is what's going to come out when it's a really really tough bite and you just barely need to work something to get that that extra bite after you've worked through an area maybe with a big jig big texas rig big crankbait this is a great bait to throw in when it's a tough bite or when you've worked an area over and they've seen every single offering you've thrown now the water seems a lot more stained here. It's usually a really, really clean lake, which would lend itself really well for that, uh, that Nico rig. So I'm gonna go up shallow now. And these next two baits, as you can see, um, I'm gonna use them pretty much interchangeably. And that's this six cent swim jig. It's like a sexy shad color with the, uh, the net bait baby pack across. Uh, perfect trailer, perfect shad trailer. It's like a nice chartreuse blue glimmer type bait. And then this, uh, this cane thumper on that Ketchco hook that's uh, it paired up perfectly. It's got this nice blade on it. These are two baits that are going to work pretty much exactly the same way to me anyways. So I'm going to throw these up shallow, bump them off all different types of cover, throw them over the shallow grass, through the woods, stuff like that. Perfect baits this time of year. Whenever you're junk fishing or you follow that shad migration up shallow back into these creeks, this is a great thing to throw at cover. So let's see if we can get some bites on these two dudes. I'm going to start with this uh, cane thumper. Thing looks pretty damn slick in the water. I think I should be able to catch some on this guy. All right, I've been fishing around a little while with the uh, swim jig and that cane thumper. Nothing yet. Probably gonna get some at some point on those, I would assume. But we're gonna pick up the last bait, and that's this 2.5 square bill. Now, I've been saving it for this exact situation we got right here. So we're to the back of this creek right here, and so we got a nice flat area with obviously some isolated laydowns, pieces of stump, brush, stuff like that. And that's a perfect place to throw a square bill. And what I think people don't understand with square bills is this is a 100% worthless bait 
if it's not running into things. And the only way it's gonna run into things is if you're fishing it around shallow cover. So what I'm gonna do when I get back here is I'm gonna throw this right down the side of these different types of lay downs, stuff like this, make that cast right there and try to bump it into as many limbs as possible. That's how you're gonna get that reaction strike. You know, another scenario where I, I love to throw a square bill, a 2.5 size, as we get into the fall season we're in right now, is riprap. So any type of riprap point, a uh, little chunkier rock, riprap bank, chunkier than anything around. What I mean by that is, you know, snaggier, bigger, bigger crevices where there's gonna be a lot of crayfish. Obviously, this is a, a really good craw imitating bait. Those are gonna be perfect places to throw this guy, but for now, we're gonna throw them around all these stumps, points, anything we can bounce it off of, and that's how you're gonna get that reaction strike. Now, square bell is not a bait that you're gonna stand on the boat and cast straight to the bank perpendicular, or stand on the bank if you're bank fishing and cast straight onto the lake, and you just hope for the best. This is a bait where you're gonna make very precise casts along the sides of different types of cover and straight parallel with any type of riprap you're fishing around. That's how you get bites with a square bill. There we go. Yep, that's a giant. Got a slaunch on our hands here, folks. This guy came up and smoked the little cane thumper with the little flashy blade. So there are fish in here. I don't know if this is going to be the best day. It's been pretty dang tough so far, but he was in this lay down right here. Worked this just like a spinner bait right over the top of it, except obviously it's a lot more natural bait than a spinner bait. And it just so happened to do the trick. All right, so now that we caught one on this dude, I'm going to show you that sneaky little way I was telling you guys about that you can rig this pack a craw. And that obviously is on this little flashy swimmer hook. Now, the reason I really like to throw this pack a craw on here, and I've caught some really good fish, it's a great little pond fishing bait. So it's a little bit more natural than a swimming jig. It doesn't have that skirt, obviously, all that bulk to it. So it's a little bit smaller profile for them. Yet they can see that blade, it just it draws them in. And the good thing about fishing a craw bait over the little swim bait like that is if you have a lot of shallow submergent grass or a lot of just shallow cover in general, this will actually lift a lot more in the water column and, and ride a lot higher at that same speed. So it kind of fishes nice and slow, stays about a foot and a half, two feet below the surface, which is a really, really great way to throw this whenever you have a lot of shallow grass. So hopefully we can throw this around. Like I said, not the best lake to really be fishing a lot of horizontal shallow baits, but it's a cool way. And we might even have to flip this guy in there. It looks really, really unique. Um, something the fish haven't seen a lot of, um, but something I've caught some good fish on in the past. Well, I've fished for about uh, two hours now, my allotted time for the day, and I pretty much got my butt kicked, caught one little dinky bass, and that was it. But I, I hope you guys learned something from these MTB unboxings where I go out and fish with the bait, show you how I would personally use them. It's a really, really tough transitional time right now in my area where it's really tough to get bites. The bass don't really know if they want to be up shallow or deep or anywhere in between. All the grass is dying off, so we got a ton of stain and some turnover with the algae blooms in the water. And that's kind of what happened today along with the uh, bluebird conditions. But can't complain, got to get out and fish. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I'm going to give you guys a chance to win all of these baits. And even though I didn't really whack them today or get out and really catch a bunch of fish, all these baits I used today, I was really, really impressed with. They're all baits I don't think I've used a single one of those besides the pack of craw in a different color. I've never actually used any of the baits that I got today, but they're all fish catching baits in really good colors. And so it's an opportunity to get out and try a bunch of new baits. That's why I like Mystery Tackle Box myself. Gives me a chance to experiment, learn more as an angler, and that's what it's all about. But like I said, going to give away this box with all the baits I used in the video today. All you have to do, go hit that thumbs up, comment down below whatever you would like, and go subscribe to Millican Fishing. The way I will pick the winner, like always, in a random comment generator, I'll actually leave the winner on this video one week from today. I believe I'm putting this video out on Tuesday. So a week from today, check down in the description of this video and I will put giveaway winner in your name if you won the box. So again, three very, very simple steps. 
hit the thumbs up button, comment whatever you would like, and go subscribe to Melican Fishing. I will pick it with a random comment generator. Go see if you're subscribed to Melican Fishing. If you are, I will ship this box off to you the next day. Also, don't forget, if you want to try out Mystery Tackle Box, you can go pick up one of these $35 valued boxes for the first time for $5 if you use the promo code MILK, M-I-L-K. Helps me out, helps my channel out, and go and help them out. They, they got some really cool baits. This weekend, I'm going down to fish with the Googans and a bunch of other guys with Mystery Tackle Box in a little tournament format down in Texas. So I'm super, super stoked. Got a super busy week this week filming, busy week next week. I freaking love bringing this content to you guys. Looks like we're about to go over 50 thousand subscribers not something i ever thought was uh possible when i started this channel in december and january this this last year so thank you guys so much for that i love giving back love giving you guys these giveaways i'm gonna do as many as i can seems like you guys really like them you know dudes are getting the baits i'm sending out saying they caught a bunch of bass on them already some guy caught a bass on them, their personal best the first day when he opened the baits i sent out to him for a giveaway so that's freaking sweet i love to see that but seriously guys thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch these videos super jack for the rest of the week i am out of here for now though peace